What is happening guys? Cowboy here and it's time to get a new series kicked off with Dark Souls 3 Cinders. Now if you haven't heard of Cinders, Cinders is a brand new mod for Dark Souls 3. Uh, it's actually been out for a while but it's finally reached a point in patching where I'd say I'm comfortable producing content with it. I have a link to the mod in the description below for those that want to try this. This is obviously a PC only thing, so sorry to the console folks. Uh, but to give a basic gist, Cinders aims to provide a fresh experience through Dark Souls 3. So it expands upon uh, quite a few things in the game. Progression has been changed up, weapons and infusions have been changed up, armors have been overhauled, uh, rings have been expanded upon, and there's, there's new ring effects, stats have been adjusted, FP regenerates, so, so if you're a mage, that's great spell adjustments, key item adjustments. There's basically a lot that's been changed. So I don't know if this is going to end up being another, uh, you know, another Ashes yes. of Ariandel experience, but from what I've read, I think this is going to be pretty awesome to get into. So, yeah. And do that. And what do we got here? We got some new classes right off the bat. So Explorer, a curious explorer from a distant land, utilizes their innate luck for survival. So they start with 18 luck. A resolute sentry whose vigil is unending. A wields a bastard shield and iron shield. Bastard sword and iron shield. So basically like a beefier strength build than warrior even? That's, I guess it's kind of on par with warrior, but just a better moveset. What's this thing? Pitiful specimen who tends the graves, commands dark sorceries and miracles. Uh, that sounds pretty freaking cool. Sorcerer looks pretty much the same. Pyro is the same. All right, well, obviously, I want to try one of the new classes. So we're going to go with Grave Tender because dark magic is one of those things that it just never really was that good in Dark Souls 3. So if there's been spell adjustments, this should be pretty freaking awesome. Material used to infuse weapons out of blacksmith. Main aesthetic used to strengthen foes throughout the world. Liking what I see so far. Uh, let's go. Let's go for the black fire bomb. You can't go wrong with the black fire bomb. Uh, since I'm a mage, let's go. Uh, you no, know, I always end up playing Irithelion. Let's go uh, Astora Noble. Uh, he's he's kind of he's a mage, so mage. Let's just go standard. And uh, let's mix up his hair a little bit. I mean, you you never really see the character, you know, but gotta give him give him some more more mage hair. This is this is pretty mage like. There we go. Uh, let's make it a little yeah like that. There we go. And then of course he's got to have a beard. Ugh. No, it's too too homelessy. Perfect. I wish it was a little bit fuller. It looks like it's growing in. Like honestly, this looks like my guy hasn't shaved in about a month, and this is just what his beard looks like. So. Rip, I, uh, you know, there's nothing you can do to fix that, man. All right, there we go. He is ready. Let's, let's put him on in. So I actually did a poll regarding this or Sekiro. Uh, there's a good chance I'll still do the Sekiro modded playthrough. You know, the summer is uh, traditionally a slow time for new releases, so I usually take that time to revisit old favorites, revisit things that... You know, folks have been wanting for me to do for a while. I know uh, last summer we knocked out both Metro Exit, or excuse me, Metro 2033, and then Last Light. Um, and then on that list was also uh, Last of Us, which I'd done on stream, but I never did a YouTube series of. So I may even revisit Last of Us with the second one on the horizon, get that on the channel just in case people want to see it. But for now, let's jump on into this. Okay, so I start with Deep Soul. Heretic Staff and Harp. Large sickle shaped body used for severing corpses as a worker's tool in the undead settlement. Sharp edge it's on the inside of the weapon, itself designed for cutting and pulling. It has quick step on it. This has steady chant. And uh all I got is deep soul. Alright, I can make this work. Oh, I like this. This thing is quick. Company of Champions. Souls return to the bomb. All right, still dark side. It's just called something else. 
things on? Notice I have a small, I have a buff active. Sword buff. Ash and Estus flask. That there, that over there. Usually a bunch of dogs that run on up on attack you here. Ooh. Oh, that is serious. Oh man, this is this this might actually be the closest thing to like a dark magic run I'll ever get to experience in Dark Souls 3, and I'm already super pumped for it. We actually tried to make a, uh, a dark sorcerer on stream quite a bit, and it just never worked out. S spell parry shield right off the bat. Dig it. Yeah, but we I mean we tried and tried and. I mean, you had to, you basically had to run, like, the dark boosting ring, and then you also had to run, um, so it was a dark, dark boosting ring, and then you also needed, uh, what was it called, the, um, I'm trying to remember what the hell it is, clutch ring, the dark clutch ring, and then you have, like, a mask you could wear, and then if you used, like, a certain, uh, weapon in your offhand, Basically, if you pulled all this shit together, you were able to do some decent damage. But even then, it was decent. Like, comparatively playing as just a you know, pure sorcerer or a pyromancer, you did way, way more damage. See, I still remember how to do my rolling. Oh shit, I think that, that was a stab window. Oh man, and I whiffed it. Oh! Okay, uh, there we go. This is this. There we go. Typically, I would just skip this guy at the start, but I want to see what he has. The greed. The greed. Nope. Oh god. Oh god. Nope. That unlock. Oh god, that almost got me killed. Suck on black firebomb. Oh god, that does nothing. Nope. Oh. Oh, I thought that was the end of me. We can do it. We can do it. One more. Ooh. Titanite scale. All right. Whew. Whew. Starting things off with a battle of intensity. Seriously, the FP regeneration, that is so freaking nice. That was one of those things that always kind of... I don't know. I felt like it... I mean, on one hand, you know, you had a set number of spell uses in uh, the previous souls. So, you know, your FP kind of dictated that as well, but it always sucked when you got low and you were like, shit, I guess I need to... Like, in, in the other games, you know, I could be like, all right, well, I can have you know, two of this ability and four of this ability, and then I can double stack this on to have, you know, 20, uh, 20 deep souls or whatever. And, like, yeah, it worked, but... 
in Dark Souls 3, you know, if you used up all of your MP on some big spell, all of a sudden you didn't even have enough to do, like, your basic stuff, which always kind of sucks. I don't know if it's something to do with my, uh, my new graphics card, but... Doesn't this, the, I don't know, does this seem like super smooth to you guys? I mean, to be fair, I'm playing in 2K on a RTX, but, like, damn. This just feels really, really smooth. What is... Oh, do I have... Okay. It's L3 for jump. And... Whoop! Ah, yeah, got it. Fight oh, nice shot. Alright, so some things are familiar. No item randomization. Which I was looking. There is a, a new item randomizer for Dark Souls 3. I was thinking about messing around with it. But, um... I think this can still do regular parries. damage there. Come on, Gunder. It's been a while since I've had to parry you. Still got it, boys! All oh, that Sekiro has trained me. I feel like Black Firebomb has got nerfed. These would usually be clapping. going down like this. We are going to focus on attacking at first. Go the, the good old attack parry strat. That was close. And then uh, once he transforms, then we're going to go hard on him. First, I need to get my souls. Don't knock me off the ledge, please. 5,000 souls. That's quite a bit. Come on, try it. Oh, no. Wow. Alright, so I made the mistake of two-handing my weapon there. I thought, you know, I'll two-hand it and get in some more damage. That was a, a terrible decision. And I should have never done that. But that's okay, you know? As long as we learn from our mistakes, we know now to never two-hand a weapon again with this character until I have a buttload more stats. I can probably get in, like, like two casts. Two or three casts. This thing would cause damage just shoving it into someone's chest. 
Alright, come on, ugly. I think my parry sorcerer strat's gonna work fine here. Alright, that was... I'm pretty sure I parried that, but you know what? I'll give you a freebie. I'll give you one. Come on, let's go. It's weird. It's like the angle on that is getting fucked up. added. In particular, the thing says, uh, spells have been adjusted bringing up weaker spells such as Lightning Spear and changing casting animations of spells that were too slow for the speed of combat. So I don't know if there's actually new spells, but... Uh. Censuring Palm. The blessing of the Eudix who awaited the arrival of Ash shall be granted a chosen Ash if it accepts such an offering. Is it? Hang on. I think it's just a parry fist. <laughs> We're gone, bitch. Whatever, I'll. I'll is it? That's so weird. So, what is the. Is it a, is it a weapon? Is it a fist weapon? Some with it. Does it have scaling at all? Oh, yeah, BB scaling. Huh. Those that have always wanted to punch their way through Dark Souls 3. Back to my stuff. under the dress, you'd think he was giving out circumcisions. Get off this cliff. Oh, he was so close to falling, but didn't. That thing is so fast. West shield. Oh, that was up top usually. So I'll have to figure out if I'm gonna be if I am gonna go dark magic. I wonder if uh, scaling has been normalized. Or if it's like just I know previously you would just stick with in. Given there's a whole starting class dedicated to it, I'm wondering if it's uh, closer to how Hex has worked in Dark Souls 2, where you need both in and faith. Bye bye, doggo. Or 
wonder if Katana Bro is still up there. He is. I wonder if this still works. Let's see. Gonna do your thing? Shit. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! That did not work out at all. That probably would have worked, but... So there's, there's an old trick where you basically stand there, he tries to do the katana weapon art, and he ends up flying straight off the uh, the steps and kills himself, and then you just take his loot. Obviously, when I shot my spell and made him dodge, that whole plan went to shit. So. I don't think I've ever, like, fought him fairly at the start. I should try. But first, let's go in here and uh, I just punch the coil in, just for good measure. Welcome to the island uh, to the fair one. Fair. Here we go. Uh, there's an arrow stuck in my hand. We're off to a good start. Alright, now Katana Bro kills me. It's not the end of the world. Alright, pal. Just taking one of the things off my controller. Let's see. I can totally just blow you away. Yeah, I'm too fast for you. Give me your goodies. Yeah, I can be a Dexy boy if I want now. Not that I would. Dark magic with sickle is a pretty, pretty freaking cool start. Thanks, shit. Produce the the mark to lock the oh. Alright, and if we go here now. Yeah, high wall, foot of the high wall, or drag heap. So we're gonna we're gonna go foot of the high wall. Um but first, obviously, I got some stuff to do. Remember, wasn't there a soul as a starter gift? I don't think I saw one this time around. Alright, so we have the same stats as before. Um, magic is just scaling up. Oh! So fate? No, never mind. That's resistance. What am I looking at? Um. Well, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what would work with dark magic. So, before I spend 12,000 souls on something that's not going to help me at all, I'm going to go ahead and we'll wrap up part one here. Uh, I'm going to jump on into the Discord for the mod and see if I figure out what I need for stat scaling. Uh, but this should be pretty fun. So, more than likely, I will go two episodes a day, maybe three. I don't know. We did we did three episodes a day with uh, with a plague tale, but that was kind of a, a short title, and I wanted to to get it out of the way to move on to other things. So I, I don't know. Maybe I'll stick with two, and we'll see how it's going, and maybe I'll bump things to three, depending. But either way, guys, thanks for coming on by. I know we didn't get much done in part one, but you know we.
made it past Gunder and made it back here, and uh, you know, our Dark Magey boy is looking like he'll be uh, he'll be pretty fun. So anyway, stay tuned, and I'll catch you soon with more.